Dr. Fetus Mean Meat Machine is a game in conflict with itself. It borrows its stellar presentation from Super Meat Boy Forever and its gameplay premise vaguely from an old Sonic spin-off game, but even with so much of its trails already blazed, it still feels awkward in its fundamentals. Its different gameplay elements feel strange and oddly assembled together, and I think that comes down to the fact that it's working off of an inherently flawed premise. I still can't say that I didn't enjoy my time with the game though because I did. Dr. Fetus's Mean Meat Machine smartly reels itself in and sets its sights appropriately. The game is modestly priced and doesn't pretend to be the next installment in the Meat Boy series, which a lot of people would argue is exactly what Forever did. If you based your entire opinion of the game off the tutorial, you'd probably think that its match 4 levels were overly basic, but very quickly action and real-time mechanics get introduced, like saws that'll destroy your Meat Boy clones, and even ghosts that'll hover around the stage. Each level has you trying to match four Meat Boy clones of the same color, and provided you do this enough, you'll make it through one phase of the level. And all of them have a handful. Different phases can introduce new obstacles or enemies. Getting hit by a saw or otherwise while you're descending can cause you to lose a fair amount of progress, especially if you have checkpoints turned off and you're trying to get an A-plus ranking. Thankfully, you can accelerate, slow down your fall speed, and even dash, which gives you some nice tactics to deal with the onslaught of different obstacles you'll be pit against. Chaining together multiple match fours in a single drop will cause your next set of Meat Boy clones to be invincible, which is invaluable when you realize you can use that to completely skip certain hazards. Getting into this groove can be pretty fun and is required to get those A plus rankings. Those A plus times are not easy by the way. Across both Flash games, Super Meat Boy, and Forever, these are easily the hardest A plus times to obtain in the series. There are times times where I was gaping mouth open, staring at my screen in disbelief at the disparity between the par time and what I had achieved. Provided you're willing to go the distance, you'll probably come out the other end wondering if it was worth perfecting these stages in the first place, and the original Super Meat Boy never gave me that feeling outside of the I want to be the guy warp zone. Just to be clear, if you're enjoying this video so far, a subscription really helps. As you've probably deduced from the footage, the level obstacles and theming borrow heavily from SMBF. Lines are really tight and professional looking, backgrounds are multi-layered and invoke feelings of a Saturday morning cartoon. If you thought the jump from the humble flash look of the original to the almost corporatized aesthetic of forever was a step in the wrong direction, then mathematically you will also not like how mean meat looks. For everyone else, it's a really refined and honed in look that shows just how much the presentation front for the Meat Boy series has been bolstered. Yet for as much as this pulls from SMBF, that's not to say that the first game doesn't get some love. The boss from the second world of the first game, Chad, makes an awesome return, as does the Salt Factory and even the Rapture Worms, which oddly enough are a boss fight in the Salt Factory now, instead of the World 5 they were originally in. Pretty awesome. While we're on the subject of bosses, I'm pleased to say that like forever, bosses are one of the highlights in this game. They all feel very interwoven into the design and don't feel like forced additions. Even though this is a puzzle game, you could still feel an eminent force trying to stop your progress. Let's talk about the music. People have talked at length about how divided they are and Ridiculin's work. I get that it's not everyone's thing. That being said, if you liked their work in Forever, you'll probably enjoy the remixed, chiller version of their tracks in this game. It was definitely a smart choice since it more accurately matches the tone of a match 4 instead of a platformer, and it honestly reminded me that Forever's soundtrack really had some high points, like the hospital theme. It's perfect for what the game's doing and deserves a spot in any Meat Boy fan's chill or ambient playlist. To come back around to what I said at the beginning of this video, Dr. Fetus's Mean Meat Machine is at odds with itself because of its flawed premise. And what I mean by that is its attempt to marry methodical puzzle gameplay with the fast bite-sized nature of its parent platformer games. The phases format doesn't really feel natural. While it does offer checkpoints that take a lot of the weight off of losing, the levels still feel more exhaustive since they are essentially several bite-sized ones strung together. This essentially tries to be what Pocket Dungeon is to Shovel Knight, and while I didn't enjoy it as much as either of those games, there were definitely moments where I really buckled down and became obsessed with chaining together the perfect chains so that I could get some invincible Meat Boy clones past legions of saws and complete the stage in record time. If a Meat Boy game spin-off or not is able to induce a personal investment in beating a stage and make you ultimately feel good about it afterwards, I think that it's done its job. Dr. Fetus's Mean Meat Machine does the best it can with a flawed premise. It's an imperfect mashup of action and puzzle gameplay that still somehow manages to get that Meat Boy feeling to shine through, even if only for fleeting moments. Provided you're a Super Meat Boy fan, I think this can sufficiently keep you 
fixated while we wait with bated breath for Forever's level editor, provided that's still going to be a thing in the first place. Thank you so much to Head Up for providing a review copy. I know my feelings on the game were overall very mixed, so hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me for that one. Thank you.